Today is 17 July and the video that we are going to watch today is going to be the practical guide for the day-to-day -day artists. So watch closely. Let's get started. The book and the title reads, Don't Abandon Others or Yourself. Now, how do we do that? The first point, you have a part to follow of a reason. Why ever, wherever, whenever you are creating art, right? You are creating it for the reason. It is very, very important to never actually forget the reason why you're doing it. And then you have to follow that path of the reason. If you deviate, then you might be making art and you might be making good art as well for some bad reasons. And that will eventually become uh, bring regret. And a lot of times the lifestyle of an artist is such that it is not honorable or even amazing to be with an artist or to be an artist. So the first thing is the reason. We should never ever forget our reason why we create art. Now, I am not a guru, but this is basically my abstraction from the book, The Daily Stoic, if you can see it. If you can see it, by any chance, if you cannot, it's totally fine. So the second thing is, the second thing is, the second thing is when we talk about day-to-day -day artists, all right, who are the day-to-day -day artists? The photographer who are working for social media, the freelancers, the graphic designers, the painters, the illustration artists. You will encounter opposition. Opposition as in the competitors, yes, if you are in freelancing. But you will also encounter opposition in your ideas, in your thoughts, in the way you make, because you'll get something called the changes. The changes that come in graphic designing or even video editing or even in photography. I want you to just make a mindset and even if you are an artist who is just thinking of coming into this field, start by making a mindset that this is going to happen. People are not going to like your designs. People are not going to like your photographs. They are, like, they are going to tell you to redo it. And most often they are going to tell you to redo it without any merit. We, as human beings, as artists, as philosophers, and as thinkers specifically, should not get angry on that. Expect opposition, expect it to come into your field, and then you will have to lead with it, no matter what thing. When all this happens, this is a word that is thrown a lot in commerce, and it is called goodwill. Now, what is goodwill? Goodwill is when anything bad happens, you stay the course and you maintain your dignity, integrity, and kindness, and you don't lose it. That is what goodwill means. It basically, tells the world that you are an amazing artist and you are easy to work with, easy to deal with. This will throw you off in life far ahead than anything else. A lot of times the jobs that you get is because of the network of the people who have seen you work. And it actually makes your life amazing to be in the network of someone who's amazing, who's doing amazing. The fourth point is as you go through life and as you go through making decisions, your decisions have to be judged, have to be fair and just. So when you're working, you have to keep a watch on making well-based decisions, well-based decisions. Rather, it is uh, telling a client not to, whether it is telling a client that you cannot accept a job offer or to not do it for less than required or to actually do it for less for a good cause, you'll be making good decisions, decisions that are actually basic, actually required. See, in the life of an artist, a lot of problem comes. And when they do in your life, one of the things that we artists are blamed for is actually acting out getting angry and this is one thing that we have to remember that we have to be very gentle with the world around us i know world is very cruel with the artist but if you are nice to the world if you are human and gentle it can only make your life easier so that is one thing that is very required sometimes i feel like i really want to throw stuff i really want to break stuff and in the artistic world that happens i saw a movie uh, with suraj sir i believe in which uh, this is a teen who's very frustrated, uh, who's located outside India and he's going through a horrible time. And I'm thinking, man, you can, you know, you can earn money by shooting extra. But the thing is, he breaks his camera in that angle. And that kind of ends all the ways and all the means that he could have actually gotten work in photography, videography. This one thing that, you know, like when we get angry and when artists specifically get angry, it is horrible. It is horrible sight. So the next point is we have to control our anger. One of the things that happens when we are angry or not when we are angry, but when the, ta keep, uh, the task at hand, when it, is, it, it becomes hard to actually carry out, what we do is we just leave, we just abandon. And that is what you have to understand. You have to not abandon your work. For certain cases, even I do agree that it is correct. 
and uh, if the client is horrible and they are taking your peace of mind away let it go but this should not should should only be the exception this should not be something that we do on a regular basis where we take some work in our hand and we leave it and we abandon it one thing is uh, that i have found is to have a chat with the management to make it in their terms to let them know that you're one and they are one and you have equal respect as any other individual or as a manager or as a boss themselves and this makes sense but to actually leave the work just because you're not feeling like it either if it is business or it is personal that is going to harm you one of the things that artists are badly blamed for not taking correctly is family time is that balance is that life balance is abandoning everyone for your work and actually that is horrible that should not be done so you have to be very connected because those are the people who keep your mental and emotional level correct and if you lose them you will lose the life balance which is very much required for artists and to carry on work every day on a single day and to carry on work every day and with that same gusto where you feel that you're not missing something but you still have art with you and that is you know how you carry on the artistic life also one more thing that is understanding others now this happens a lot of time and this ha- has happened with me also where there are people who will not be as talented as you or as experienced as you or as interested as you in the task and this can actually sometimes make it very hard to actually work with those people or anybody else and in those circumstances we have to understand that we have been in spaces where they we were not as good as somebody else and this usually happens with superiors where it is such a thing where they are not training you they are taking advantage of you or maybe god forbid we are taking advantage of others and that can be horrible that is not something that we should do that is definitely what something that we should do we have to understand others now the last point the last thing is something that artists do have and we are praised for it but not in the worldly matters for only in art and that is patience empathy we do have empathy without empathy i think creativity is very hard but patience with other people when somebody does not deliver the work on time and somebody gets late uh, i have shouted at people for giving me my tripod late because i was losing the morning light and when i look back at it, at it i realize that i should have shouted less so one thing that i have learned is uh, patience so that is what we have learned from today and i hope to see you in the next video tomorrow take care